So over here, you can see that I got a bunch of objects. And if I want to select out multiple objects, I can click and drag my mouse around the objects and this is what you have. Another thing that I can do is I can hold shift on my keyboard and select out these objects right here. So that is how you can select out objects as well. So now let's see how we can use the select all options inside of Figma. So over here, if I were to go around into the main menu, then you can go around over here into edit and here you can see select all options are here. So now if I were to go to select all with same properties option right here, it'll select out the items with the same properties. So for example, I'm going to select out this rectangular shape right here. And if I were to go around into file menu right here, and if I were to go around into edit, then select all with same properties is here. So if I were to click on this, then it'll select out all the object with same properties as you can see. Similarly, you got other select all options right here. So if I were to go around into edit, you can select around all options with same fill as well. So I'm going to select out this triangular shape, which has a red fill. So if I were to go around into the menu, and if I were to go around into edit and click on select all with same properties right here, then what happens is that it selects nothing. But if I were to go around over here on to edit and click on select all with same fill, it selects out all of the shapes with same fill, as you can see, because all of the objects right here has red color filling right there. Similarly, you got other selection option over here as well, like select all with same stroke. So, uh, so for that, I'm going to select out this oval shape right here. So if I were to go around right here and go to edit and click on a select all with same stroke, it'll select out the triang a triangular shape because it has black stroke on it as well. Similarly, you can go around and use other selection op option like select all same text uh, properties right here as well. So if I were to go around and select this, go around over here, go to edit and click on select all with same text properties, it'll select out all the text properties right here. So it'll select out the exact text which is uh, in exact size and so forth. Al alternatively, if you want to select out just the text, uh, just the font which is similar, you can go around over here onto edit and click on select all with same font. Right now you can see that all of the three are same, but if I were to, let's say for example, resize this out right here, let's resize this uh, and go to scale right here, let's go to scale, resize this. So if I were to go around now and go to edit and click on select all with same properties, it'll select only this right here. Let me just press control Z right here. And if I were to go around over here and go to edit and click on select all with same font, it'll select out the smaller font as well. So over here, you can see that this is actually uh, an asset right here. This is a component right here. So if I were to select this and go around into the main menu, go to edit and click on select all with same instance, what happens is that it'll only select out the instance of the component right here and not the main component. So it'll uh, select out the uh, instances of the component that you made. So if I were to go around onto assets and bring in another object right here, and select this, go around over here and go to edit, select all with same instance, then everything will be selected over here. And that is how you can use the select all option inside of Figma to select out different objects with uh, different properties. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.